So all Android users have probably heard something against them for what phone they have. They, everyone thinks the Android quality sucks and it's just absolute rubbish and iPhone is the best camera out there. Well, to everyone who says that, I see where you're coming from. A lot of us use Snapchat and Instagram nearly every day and Android cameras on Snapchat and Instagram to be honest, it's just not great. But there is a very valid reason for this and why iPhone have the better camera quality on these two social media apps, which I'm going to be explaining to you today. However, just to clarify, Android cameras are genuinely amazing and some of the time top iPhones. iPhone video quality is in a league of its own. I'm not going to challenge that in any way, but in photos, Android definitely have the chance. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so let me tell you the reason real quick. The main reason iPhones get better quality is because the app, let's just say Instagram and Snapchat, they are talking to the actual camera lens. So the camera, of course, opens up when you're in Snapchat and Instagram, and then the phone actually talks to the lens on what it's getting, what saturation, colors, how dark, how bright, everything. This is because Apple releases like four, three or four phones every year which means app developers can then further optimize their apps to work specifically with the iPhone cameras. Because there are only three or four, or maybe even five iPhones every year, this is not a huge stress for manufacturers. Instagram can quickly just get a team onto the new iPhones and your new iPhone will be taking amazing shots on social media like Snapchat, Instagram, and TikTok. But then Android, we all know what Android is. They come in a load of varieties like Samsung, Huawei, one plus actually cut out huawei they were banned i forgot about that one plus xiaomi we've got so many countless brands i'm just going to put them all up on the screen right now that's how many brands android comes in all of these different brands have to have the social media app okay because it's on the play store but instagram don't have the time and just can't take the effort to put a team on every single different smartphone that's just long so instagram snapchat all these social media apps took the quick option to just make one universal type of app for all of them so the camera will work for all of them see now this universal option does not talk to the actual camera instead it opens the camera app and grabs what's on the screen and t shows that as your video or picture. This is the main problem. If it's grabbing off your screen, it's basically like screen recording. And I think we've all seen Snapchat stories when stuff has been recorded and recorded and recorded off screen recording to share on our stories. The quality degrades quite a lot. It's the same with Android phones, which is literally the main reason our stories don't look as good as your iPhone stories. So I've hoped that has cleared everything up for you. I don't think there's going to be a solution to this anytime soon as Android is just growing and growing. And iPhones, there's only four or five of them, which means apps will definitely be able to optimize their app every single time a new iPhone releases. So that's been it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Christmas was actually yesterday. So I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Thank you for 1K subscribers again. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already, if you like these types of videos. And yeah, Saf Ashraf. Peace.